A reading of the New Testament as rendered by the Gullah culture uh, as a translation of the uh, King James Version of the Holy Bible. Um, this is the Gullah Bible. And every morning, well, this time, we'll see what's happening in about, uh, well, from May 12th until July 3rd, I'm going on a silent thing. So every reading it, so I want to still post every day. So I have to do enough so that I can do that. I can, I guess I could sort of cheat and, <laughs> and repeat, you know, so it stays up. Uh, I don't know. I'm just doing as much as I can. Right now I'm in Cape Town. I'm recording as much as I can. I'm in a, I'm in a, a what do you call that, a, a backpack or something. I don't know. But um, I'm going to the Eastern Cape. And so uh, I want to record as much as possible. Uh, this is very, I mean, the Lord do work in mysterious ways. Because even the story that how I got this particular place was I didn't have one. I didn't have a place when my plane landed at 11 o'clock at night and I was in there. And we was going to one place, they looked like they were closed. Right across the street was this uh, uh, 48 backpackers. And, you know, I, so I came here and, and it just worked out swimmingly well, you know. Uh, I don't know. Well, like I said, the Lord do work in mysterious ways. In fact, you know, this whole thing started, I'll tell you, let me, let me do, no, yeah, the whole thing started with, with this narrative, with, uh, with this thing called narrative. This is the, 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 the Nubia uh, sweatshirt. I like it because they, they, they acknowledge Madagascar. A lot of times you have two-dimensional, well, two, you know, flat kind of thing. They don't even put Madagascar on there. How are you going to have Africa without Madagascar? Come on, let's think about it. And, uh, and uh, you know, actually, you know, the, the Gullah Geechee people which just come from, uh, they, they retained a lot of the African-ness. Um, so interestingly enough, when I uh, when they I found out that you know from listening to a class with Carr, he pointed out the the, the skull of Bible, and so I immediately ordered it <laughs> uh, from down the Sea Isle of people. I didn't go to the Amazon people who don't like workers and stuff like that. I ordered from them. Uh, so anyway, uh, so I got it, and I started I started to read it every morning just to uh, put my headspace into like a newly freed. Uh, enslaved person, uh, like the you know the end of nineteenth century, beginning of the twentieth century, and how that would you know how they learn to uh, how you say uh, be literate so quickly. So I figured I would I would be like them and read because you know I try to read the Gullah Geechee, and um, so that's why you see well, me struggling like that. Then I read the translation. It's interesting because I read it twice, and so the second time it gets a little easier. And I guess if I just borrow. And that's how I'm doing it. But now I have this intense period because I'm trying to get a lot out done right there. And uh, just so you know, I have a, I, I always have a set um, reflecting, you know, basically Africa and and, and, the, and these enslaved people that went through slavery and antebellum and you know, on through Jim Crow and, you know, or, you know, the the vague would do, pull people off the street, put them back in jail. You know, we never got, you always on the bottom, the bottom, bottom. So that's why I have, a, well, this is a kente cloth. Uh, kente cloth comes with a lot of different things. I use the kente cloth. Oh, actually, this uh, crown here, let me say crown, in the, you know, cultural black community, uh, is actually, uh, everybody thinks it's uh, the whole communist thing, whatever have you, but it's not. Because the uh, Yoruba culture from West Africa, when it went to uh, to Brazil, it became Condomble, and uh, the, um, well, it became Condomble, but it did, did one of the Orisha, the Orisha is like selected head, uh, one of the reasons called is Ogun. I'm actually a child of Ogun. But when it comes to that same religion, you know, that culture came up through Cuba and North to North America, the colors changed for some reason through a green, black, and a little bit of red. So this crown represents that to me. Most people don't know that, but don't mind. But now you know, so you know. Uh, and then this flag back here is made by uh, a black person, African, that whole thing, uh, uh, David Hammonds. He did it as, a, as, a, as an art, art piece, uh, did it as, at the, uh, the Venice Banal. It's like a, uh, by every two years they do the art thing, and then this was in Venice, and so in that year he created this flag called the African American flag. So that's part of my set, you know. So pulls everything together, for you, right? Okay, so let's go to any spot. Let's go here to uh, Hebrew nine. Oh, I need the glasses because you know they have the the font for the for the gullah is big, but the font for the um, you know, the Marlowe, Shakespeare kind of English is 
or smaller. I need glasses anyway because old guy now. Okay. Let's go to uh, page uh, 769, Hebrews. Let's go to Hebrews 10, 769, and we'll do uh, the, what do you call that? The, uh, well, you all say verse? Yeah, verse two. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a Christian, you know. <laughs> I'm actually an eclectic pluralist. That's, that's misleading the foolish term for it. I, I used to say I was a deist, but nobody, well, a deist is like a French thing, but eclectic pluralism is like, almost like the same thing. And, and I, I respect Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. I follow him. I, I'm an acolyte of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. I actually follow no one and seek no followers, but, but Neely Fuller Jr., you know, there's always an exception to the rule. Okay, so this is page uh, 769, Hebrews 10, uh, verse 3. Uh, but you hear it's because I'm in a backpack and stuff. You know, so I'm trying to get all the stuff done before I go into my silent state from, uh, from May 12th to July 3rd, my birthday. Because of what happens there is there's a, it's called your, 52 days before your 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 life day, your birthday, is uh, what's called a crucial period in, in the Rosicrucian order of things. I like to say Rosicrucian, but it's Rosicrucian. Okay, so here we go. But instead of that, the animal sacrifice with the people they meek every year, every year. Uh, they the meek on umbra, they sin. Okay, the translation is thus. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance against made of sins every year. Hmm. Well, let's read that again. We do it twice. Uh, but uh, but instead of that, the animal sacrifice with the people that meet every year, they then make um, member they sin. And again, yeah, the translation with the whole book. Uh, the King James Version translation is, but in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. That's the reading. From me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>